first objective make sure you subscribe and we come up make sure you did what is up you guys today i'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to set up player objectives it's very simple it's very quick this is just more for like getting the core concepts but adding more information and details is completely up to you but so let's get started let's go to our third person bp and actually open our character blueprint from there you're going to want to create a variable and we're going to call this player objective so from there you're going to want to change the value type to a text and if you compile we can actually set the like default player objective to something like uh start task and once that is done you can actually compile and save this once again so once that's done you're going to actually want to come back and open up our HUD and once we do that we are going to be adding in some text here so if we just bring this in we're going to want to have two of these one of them is basically going to be like the fancy like title and we're just going to name this um, tasks to do so what we can actually do now is if we give ourselves a little bit of room we can cast to third person character or whatever the character is that you are using and then we also want to uh, get player controller and have this set as our object once that's done as the third person character you should be able to get player objective which perfect that's what we are needing so there is one thing we're going to want to fix make sure that you change this to get player character not get player controller that was an accident and i do apologize for that and just compile and save and if we go back to our hud here and go to our designer we're going to want to make sure that we have these anchored to the bottom left and another thing you can do too is you can actually size to content your actual objective box here because what's going to happen is if this box is too small and someone's typing it's going to get cut off where if you have it sized to content it will continue to type and expand without cutting that off so now if we come up here and we play it should be once again in the bottom left good very good all right all right so the next thing we are going to want to do is we're going to want to right click we're going to do a blueprint class and an actor we're going to get this named um uh, let's say objective changer and if we open this up we can actually do a drop down get box collision and so basically what's going to happen is when the character into this box it's going to actually like update our task and so if i come back down here and we do on begin overlap we can actually drag this out and cast to third person character our other actor is going to be our object from there we are going to want out and we will do set player objective and we are going to change this new objective like make sure you subscribe so once you've done that make sure that you've connected your target as third person character and that like once again like the other actor is set to object so it should be looking like this so now if i compile and save this and we um we'll put this objective changer at like the bottom of the stairs so we'll just make this a little bit bigger us to walk on so when i click play in the bottom left it should say tasks to do start task but when i walk forward it should update and say make sure you subscribe which it does so ultimately that is basically how you do a simplistic version of how to update objectives now of course you're probably going to have to make different ones of these every time you encounter something so then the objective changes or you can add code attachments to it as well to like if you pick up an object that object's destroyed now one thing i also want to reference to is if you walk over this and it changed to something else 
and you come back and walk over it again it's going to give you that same mission so the best way to fix that is if you just come back in here you are going to want to and do a do once so basically it's just only going to be happening once if i compile and save so if i do another object changer here i apologize let me duplicate this object changer two and i change this to make sure you did and we compile and save that and bring this in make this bigger if i click play the first objective make sure you subscribe and we come up make sure you did but if i come back it's not going to be telling us to make sure you subscribe a second time so yeah basically just do that this is a very simplistic version uh, you can expand on this like i said this is just more for the functionality purposes on how to do this rather than being for more uh, good looks feel free to change this any way that you want it's just purely uh, for your guys's use to do whatever you need to do to make your game fun